Hey everybody, Steve Ritter again. Uh, Merry Christmas. I guess this is after Christmas now, but uh, hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas. Um, I ended up having a really nice, uh, nice day here. I um, had had some uh, a guy I work with his his family was nice enough. They invited me along to go look at some Christmas things, and I'll have a video for that coming up. Uh, the day we spent and some of the cool things we saw, but uh, I had so much fun doing the the last. Christmas memory video and and had so much fun doing it remembering it uh, those things especially Lefty the angel uh, I still laugh I told Darlene about that the other night I'm like oh by the way I talked about Lefty and of course my kids are all like ooh because it's a sore subject <laughs> and, no she's 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 coming around now she's starting to laugh a little bit about it. So, <laughs> Oh, it still just makes me laugh so much. Anyway, um, and I just had a bunch of other memories come out, and and um, I enjoy doing these. Um, and I know that I, I appreciate all of you, all your 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 kind words about it, and the memories and all. And and, and I hope it kind of a couple of reasons uh, doing this. I hope that it 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 brings up some good memories for you. Um, but also, I kind of like to leave a little bit of a of a uh, historical, uh, a little history of uh, family and my thoughts on the kids and family and all of us growing up, and it's something that the kids can look back on years down the road, and I can look back on years down the road. Maybe when I have less gray hair, or have one day when I have more gray hair in my hair, I can look back and go, "Oh, look at that wonderful mane." <laughs> so. Um, but I, I was talking about the wrapping before with the uh, wrapping Renee's one of Renee's presents when I was a kid and I ran out of paper and I, and I wrapped some, a cookie tin and, uh, and that video's, am I pointing to the right side? That, that video is right here. Um, and, uh, uh, and I was, I was thinking about that and I was just, I remember Bucky just, just going all oh, my law, Stephen. And uh, he's Stephen. That's just you. You you got to do better than that. <laughs> so I, I was laughing because the next year I had remembered that, and I'm like, well, I think this is this would be funny if I did this. So, <laughs> so for Renee's gift, I that year, I I I took a, a, a one of those heavy paper uh, grocery bags that you get from the grocery store, and I wrapped the present in that. I basically put it in the bag and then folded it all over so it was like really thick. And then I took duct tape and I wrapped it around. <laughs> it was, I put that under the tree and, and Bucky, I thought he was going to just have, uh, he was just going to have a conniption fit. He just, he's like, what in the world is that? <laughs> and of course, Renee, she thought it was pretty funny, but... Uh, she needed a heavy duty pair of scissors to open that present Christmas morning. <laughs> oh, I just, yeah, it was funny, some of that teasing. But um, a lot of the memories um, were of, of my family and, and, you know, with when my kids were younger and growing up. And in particular, I remember when we lived in, uh, we were stationed in Altus, Oklahoma, and we had uh, in our house there, and it was uh, Christmas. Uh, I think you know, Benjamin was was um, he was just a little guy. Bella hadn't come along yet, um, so Nathan and Will uh, see that was in probably two thousand. Um, I think it was two thousand. Um, so you know Nathan was five and and uh, or William was five and Nathan was seven. Maybe it was two ninety. Anyway, it was it was right around in there, and my dad had had come uh, to spend Christmas with us, and so uh, so I had uh, uh, so it was it was you know how are we gonna get because the boys were you know Nathan and William were all excited about about Christmas and all, and and so they they were all pretty keyed up and looking forward to them. We're like, okay, well we got some stuff to put together, so we need to get them in bed, and and we'd already kind of told them. That you know, if you're if you're awake when Santa comes, well, he just he just he can't come in the house, so he just keeps going, and and if he gets really busy, he might forget. So you better 
make sure you're in bed. And we kind of let them know that. So at one point, it was kind of getting late, getting closer to their bedtime. And I, was, and I told Arlene, I said, well, I'm going to help them out a little bit. And I kind of made a, oh, I got to run to the store real quick and get some batteries. I'll be, I'll be back a little bit. So I, I go outside and I, I'm like, okay, I don't know if they're looking outside or not. I'm going to get in the car. Started it up. I drove down the street a little bit and stopped. And I got out and I ran back. And I went around the back of the house and, and I put up Christmas lights so I, I knew the way to kind of get up on the roof. So I climbed up and I got up on the roof and then I just started jumping up and down on the roof and stomping and boom, 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 whatever. And I kind of could listen. And all the way from the roof outside of the house, I could hear this primordial scream from two little boys going, Ah, Santa's coming on! And I could hear, cuck, 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 running down the hall. <laughs> And I could hear my dad laughing to this day. I, he just thought that was the funniest thing. He laughed and laughed. So I waited a little while, and then I came in the house. And I'm like, are they in, are they in bed or sleeping? My wife's like, oh, yeah. Oh, man, they, they ran back there, and they, like, pull the covers up and go to sleep. <laughs> oh, that just, oh. And I, so the next morning, it's like, did y'all hear Santa last night? I heard. Oh, yeah, he was on the roof. I heard him. So um, I just I had a lot of fun with that. But, but uh, you know, getting family together. Um, my wife's family is very close, and, and they, they, you know, go to great pains to, to get together. And one, one year, my sister-in-law and her husband were stationed in Germany at, at Spangdalem, and he, he flew A-10s there. And that was, that was in uh, 2000. Two, I think. Um, yeah, Christmas 2002, because Bella was, was, she wasn't walking yet. She was just, she just, that was a Christmas. She just sat in everybody's lap and just sucked on her fingers looking at everything. And, uh, but we went, we, we flew out there, space available with the military. Um, we flew out to, to Germany and, and uh, spent Christmas there. And we're all packed in their house and, Futons everywhere, people sleeping everywhere, and I just I remember that all the kids were you know smaller obviously, and they're all down there on the big, just a giant futon mattress downstairs, and you know we go down there and check on them, and the kids are all sprawled around. I look like a like a I don't know, like some kind of like airline accident happened or something. There's like bodies everywhere, and and uh, you know my brother-in-law came up, he's like. Oh, I, I, I'm just, you know, because one one kid's like, like facing another kid's face, and and the one kid's sleeping, oh, sleeping, and the other kid's coughing, oh, oh, sneezing. Right? They were just like, oh, how many colds are gonna be happening here? But um, uh, my sister-in-law, the Mike, um, they he's, he was again, he was flying eight tens at the time, but he he. Uh, had had quite the wine collection going, and he didn't have a, a wine a rack or anything like that, so he just had the bottles down there, and that was kind of his man cave down there, I guess. Had them all stacked against the wall, uh, just just set up against the wall, one next to each other, and that was another funny. There was a lot of for, funny stories from that Christmas because uh, boys are down there goofing off or whatever, and one of them like hit one of the bottles. And it was like dominoes. It was like cuck, 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 all the bottles all the way around. And Mike, Mike's just down there going, ah, oh, 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 as all the bottles are falling over all the way around the room. And, and of course, the boys are like going, oh, oh, oh. And well, not, thankfully, none of them broke. Um, and then a lot of funny stories that trip with Benjamin, too, because he was... Uh, he was just a just a little guy. I think that was two thousand two. I think that's when we went two thousand two, I believe. Because um, Benjamin, uh, yeah, I think Benjamin turned three there on that trip, so he was quite the the uh, climber, and um, he had. Uh, they had a pantry, like a walk-in pantry. You you open the door. It wasn't really walk-in. I mean, there was about that much space to the to the racks, and of, of food. But you, you kind of you know half step in and pull stuff out. Anyway, Benjamin loved climbing. He wanted to be Spider-Man, and uh, and he 
there was one time he, Mike went in there to, to get something. He opens the door, and we're all sitting there, and we all saw it. And Benjamin is about three-quarters of the way up this rack, and, and he's hanging there, and Mike's like, and Benjamin's like that, and he's just hanging there, and he just turned around. And he goes, get out! <laughs> Mike just, he's like, didn't know what to do. He just closes the door, and he calls for Anna and my sister-in-law. <laughs> Because Mike just wanted to come get some potato chips or something, and there's Benjamin hanging there. And then, and then they had this cat that, uh, just the sweetest cat. I mean, just a sweet cat. And uh, come up, it was friendly to everybody except Benjamin. And for some reason, that cat did not like Benjamin. And, and, and Benjamin, you know, we'd all be there, and the cat be all friendly, and Benjamin would come in the room, and that cat would, and he would kind of sneak away or whatever. So finally, somebody goes, Benjamin. What? What in the world? Why does that? Why does that cat not like you, Benjamin? And Benjamin goes, Well, I don't know, but every time I pull his tail, he goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, Amy, I'm I'm not sure what Mr. Snowball would think about that, but uh, <laughs> I uh, that just that cracked me up. So. Um, we, uh, I just, all of the things, I got to Zoom call with the family uh, on Christmas and I got to watch them and they watched them open their presents and all, it was like I was there and just all the, the memories and all the, the, you know, taking time and going one by one around opening presents and, you know, for a while there, it, it we were, when we were doing that, it was like one at a time, everybody go, oh, okay, next, oh, okay, next. And there were some Christmases, it was like four hours of, of opening presents and, and we got to the point where we're like, okay, well, everybody opened one at the same time and oh, okay, oh, and then, and that's still, and you know, but eating breakfast that morning and then, you know, of course the dinner in the evening and um, so I, uh, I had my Christmas uh, uh, corned beef hash and eggs last, uh, for Christmas dinner. <laughs> so I missed out on the beef tenderloin, uh, but uh, Anyway, I just I, I I just thinking these things and remembering these things, and I hope to share this with the kids so they 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 see the things that I remember and cherish, and and also it's a good time. So I, I hope you you guys enjoy these. I certainly do, and if anything, that my kids, I you know they'll see them and remember. But uh, I hope you continue to have a wonderful holidays, and we've got New Year's coming up, so I hope you you enjoy that. So I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. And uh, happy holidays to everybody, and uh, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you next time.